Hello, my name is Walter and welcome back to Rick and Morty Season 3, Episode 1. Now, I know I've never done this Rick and Morty, uh, just, it's just my catchphrase. Um, now this guys, uh, I heard a lot about this episode but I haven't watched it yet because I, it came out on April 1st so I thought it was kind of like an April Fool's joke. My friends gonna pass it around but I wasn't sure if it was the right uh, episode. I uh, did my research though, it's kind of their, their way of kind of like rickrolling us again with their, like, if you remember the trailer that came out, it was like, kind of like a rickroll as well. Uh, so, um, I definitely think, it, I definitely thought it was an April Fool jokes, but uh, it wasn't. April Fool's joke, sorry. Um, but yeah, it wasn't, so uh, yeah, just gonna get into this. Um, not really sure what the episode name is. Uh, probably gonna put it in after I watch it and do just like a double check. Anyway, without further ado, let's go. Alright, we just jumped into the story. <laughs> yeah, no one would. <laughs> Emotionally speaking. <laughs> oh wow. I mean, you know. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the fart jokes. Ah, oh, Rick. Oh, nice. Oh, no theme song. I thought there would be a theme song. Well, I mean, you know, apples and oranges. <laughs> How are they just eating pills? No, he didn't. <laughs> um, uh, maybe. Okay. That's strange, man. <laughs> you little flappy doodles. <laughs> Arousal. Yeah, we'll talk to this. <laughs> Me or the titty? Oh shit. Shit's getting real. <laughs> Is he ordering stuff like in the background? I mean, yes, they they did reveal it.
Well, you know. Well, I mean, you know, he didn't really... Nah, nah, Morty, he cared. You know, he he didn't want, like, to... He didn't want you to keep going on in the run, like... Come on, like, Morty, understand why, why Rick did it, you know? Like he didn't do it just because he's selfish. I think he he really did want his family to not be involved in his uh, dirty deeds. D dirty deeds. <laughs> yeah, I heard about this actually. Like a lot of uh, people were talking about the Sheshon sauce, but I didn't get it until now. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I used to wear blue pants. Well, you kind of still do, right? Like, I don't know. Oh, he wears brown pants. Pants. <laughs> it's getting more aroused. Oh, his portal gun. Nice. Yep, his improvisation. Oh shit, is that a uh, robot Mary Poppins? <laughs> And then we'll play Boulder Dash. Oh, there they are. Oh, Deus Ex Jericho. <laughs> Hunger Games Summer. That's sad though. Like, I mean, like, yeah, that sounds interesting, but it sounds pretty sad though. That's fucking sad. <laughs> oh. What? Uh oh. Yeah, that's true. Siltium bricks. What? <laughs> Buna. Something bad's happening. Oh, there we go. 
Motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> what the fuck? This sauce is fucking amazing. Uh, damn. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, he double-crossed them, right? Yeah. He's... he's fucking smart, man. Great. <laughs> Great. Not only that there's a security breach, but I forgot my ability to improvise. <laughs> oh man, this is really funny. Like, that's one of the things like, I appreciate about Rick and Morty. It's more adult, but. It's also like the most funny. Not anymore, homie. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Puns. Oh, man. Puns. La did. Good enough. <laughs> He's a spy, blow him up. I'm gonna take a shit. I mean, that is true. <laughs> uh, he's so blunt. Rick is so blunt. <laughs> he's just a clown. <laughs> What the fuck? I mean, that's true. I mean, more like anti-hero. Yeah, I mean, you know, he has a point. <laughs> Rick is, like, sort of, like, here.
he uses the uh, hammerhead Morty <laughs> as a shield. Oh god. Uh haha <laughs> There's uh oh shit What what's this supposed to What what's this supposed to be uh <laughs> what what's this supposed to accomplish? I mean, I don't, I always don't get this because, like, there's always a, uh, there's always a side deviation that you could go. You can roll. <laughs> I totally did, by the way. Yo, what? Hmm. Yeah, right. I was about to say, I saw like kind of like a paper. I was like, I wonder what it was though. I like that uh, they they really do that uh, side gag thing, and you really can see it. I'm blowing the mouth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good pictures, kid. Whoa! Hashtag economics. Hashtag Walter's thoughts. Wait. <laughs> I was about to say, like, wait. If there's no money at all, then who's pay who? <laughs> he just shot himself. Uh, they're now fighting over clothes, man. <laughs> what? Those who control the pants control the galaxy. Run, bro, why are you crawling? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, now you come out and say that. Why didn't you come out and say that earlier, you know? Yeah, that that is it, man. What? I mean, I also understand Jerry's point of view. 
Hmm. Whoa, that's just like. Oh, you didn't follow them to the garage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, someone was right. Oh man, that's sad. That's oh wow. And I'll I'll talk about that um, afterwards. Like, <laughs> ah, not so fast, money. <laughs> Well, I mean, Jerry did cross him. <laughs> I didn't know it. <laughs> the lights. What are you talking about? <laughs> They're good chess ones, man. Nine season, <laughs> season nine. <laughs> For ninety seven more years. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> oh, that was so good. Uh, that was. Oh man, that was. Uh, that was. Whoa. Okay, let's let's take a, let's take a small break here, and let me find the, the uh, words to say because there is a lot of uh, things thrown in here. Um, whoa. Okay, so the first things first. Um, I want to talk about uh, uh, Marty's plan. Uh, Rick's plan. Sorry, not Marty. Uh, Rick's plan because like he said, like this is this is what he planned out all along and. Uh, his real aim is to find the McNugget chess one sauce, which now I get it because like everyone's shared that now. Um, but um, there's some deep psychological things happening with Beth. I'm like, whoa, okay. There's there's just like the line you have to cr like you have to, to draw, and that's the line you can't cross, you know. Um, and um, that's the thing. Like you have you obviously have to understand that. Um, I think it's the. I think it's just kids who experience like their their parents abandoning them or, uh, you know, uh, just shit that happens in life. You know, like uh, parents dying or like you know we see it Batman as well. Like parents dying or parents abandoning them. That's more to real life. Um, and there's always gonna be that that part of them that you know. Uh, always wants to forgive them if they come back but then there's also another faction which is like nah if you come back I just don't want to see you again because it's like that's what you made me feel all the time like I wanted and then you just come back to my life like what am I supposed to do with that you know and that's just uh, really hard to decide um, now on to uh, Jerry's arc here because uh, Jerry's right in some of the ways because like He's like, yeah, I think, you know, uh, time to, time to just, like, put the rules down and say, like, oh, you know, Rick shouldn't be here anymore. But, you know, Rick has been uh, somewhat of an interesting character, you know, even though he's, he's a dangerous person. And, yes, uh, Jerry does have a point where it comes to the protection of his family, but 
I definitely think that um, you know um, da, uh, sorry Beth kind of like relapsed into her um, uh, regre uh, regressed uh, and relapsed into her younger years where she's always longing for her dad to come back um, and you know Rick didn't Rick didn't do it on purpose he was like he I remember I remember specifically the the last uh, season uh, the last um, season yeah the last season where it's like um, uh, he's just like talking about it and um, oh wait I I forgot there should be something after the credits hold on um, I'll continue right after this I'm gonna skip it and we're gonna go to after the credits okay um, let's go there should be okay wait that's perfect I, I totally forgot, sorry. There should be something up to the credits, okay. There's the bug people. Okay, it's fucking Tammy. Fuck you, Tammy. Fuck you. <gasps> it's fucking bird person. No. Fuck you, Tammy. Oh, fuck you, Tammy. Oh, I am so disgusted at that. Okay, I'm sorry, but I, I really did forget that. Ah, uh, fuck Tammy. Okay, wait, let me get to the Tammy in a little while. But um, as I was saying, I, I remember that um, in the last season, uh, because you know, it just came in my head, like, oh, yeah, there should be... Um, after credit sequences every episode anyway um so yeah in the last season i just remember uh rick really thinking about it because you know we saw him walk around the tiny planet and he was really thinking about it and i think he he kind of knew like it's like his responsibility so he shouldn't drag his family down with him and so he just gave himself up and that's is why he gave himself up he didn't really want to leave his family but he knew that if he kept them on, you know, they would just be going round and round in circles, so... <sighs> that's just life, you know? And now, moving on to the Tammy arc, and now uh, my camera's lagging, so... You just have to bear with me for a little while. Um, so yeah, Tammy's a fucking bitch. Cause, uh, you know, she... She was already a bitch, but I was like, okay, maybe she's not at all, all that bad, you know? Because she was like getting friendly with uh, Bird Person, and we really didn't get to know Bird Person. But I was like, okay, Bird Person is quite cool, and you know, he gets, he gets Rick. Like I get Rick uh, as well. Like I don't really get Marty because like Marty is a bratty kid, and you know, he just wants to use Rick as as Rick does Marty as well. But you know, he wants to use Rick more because he's more smart, and uh, Rick wants to use Marty because he's more dumb. And, uh, you know, that's just their relationship, but I think deep down, you know, Rick really cares about his family and at the end, at the end of the day, you know, he just wants to make them happy and uh, do what they want as well. Um, so when Rick went to Bird Person's uh, wedding, you know, he didn't expect uh, Tammy to be a, a Galactic Federation undercover person. And she was, and then, she, you know, she fucked up the wedding, she crashed the wedding, and I was like, fuck, no, man, fuck you, Tammy, fuck Tammy, hashtag, fuck Tammy, I'm gonna put that in the fucking descriptions, man, I, I, honestly, I'm fucking, I fucking hate Tammy, because, like, for me, like, love is, like, it's, like, sacred for me, like, alright, I don't really, I don't really buy into the marriage institution, whatever, but you know love is something that you cultivate over time you know and marriage is on paper and you still love to the soul and you know love you have to uh, like business you know you have to compromise you have to work together you have to always you make sure and keep in check that you guys understand and are on the same wavelength and there'll be days where you don't like each other and that's okay because that's just something you have to go through together and that'll make you stronger in the end so uh, that is something I was like, yeah, that's good, and uh, I'm with Rick, I, I don't necessarily believe in love, but when people get in love, I'm like, okay, just 
don't fuck it up because if you fuck it up that's just another reason for me not to fall in love because I'm always watching people I I fall in love you know and I'm like nah I never get because I felt that and like it's so fucking painful when love is not uh, reciprocated in any way and um, you know it's, it's a sad thing but I think it's just something that um, I have to live with it on my own and just say to myself okay maybe I'll, I'll do it again in the, in the future like it's not necessary for me um, but it's always good for me to always have that option but you know for me it's like it's not really good like because it's 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 kind of like a drug you know it's kind of like drug uh, you'll be addicted to it and you'll always get worried and paranoid and all these stuff and you know people say the worst drug is like chemical drugs and I also agree with that but it's also like the biological drug which is your own body's drugs you know um, so yeah that's about it guys I'm sorry I forgot the after credit sequence I may I'll make sure that I, I remember it the next time I, I do this and uh, the next episode I heard that's gonna be in the summer uh, so I'm not sure and a lot of people are saying oh this is just uh, episode zero but for me you know uh, looking at this episode as a whole it really looks like this is the episode they really want to get out and they purposefully put it on April Fools to kind of like uh, just just fuck with people you know and that's the most ironic thing you can think of. Anyway, that's about it guys and I will see you at the flash. See you then.